Welcome to AmiCast, podcast about Amiga computers. I'm your host, Krzysztof Radzikowski, but call me Krzysztof or Radzik. Welcome AmiCast episode 12, YouTube version. So today uh, we'll talk about Coffin uh, OS, uh, the, the OS Amiga OS made for vampire cults. But if you don't have the vampire cult, can you use it uh, on your PC or uh, this case Mac? And yes, you can. Uh, this is uh, really cool and easy. First, we need to download uh, the coffin, and after downloading of uh, of, of this archive, uh, then we must uh, unzip it, uh, and then you have the coffin uh, image, which you just copy, uh, just copy to, or you can dupl duplicate, uh, um, or just copy this to, in my case, uh, FSUAA, and I think it is uh, the best uh, way for, at least for Mac OS. Then you copy the uh, coffin uh, to your hard drivers. I have already made something, so this will be override, uh, this will be renamed, and I will show you how to install this from the scratch and run it in um, FSUAE. So, first of all, uh, after uh, launching the launcher, uh, I created, or you should create it, the the new machine, the new emulation mm, environment. This uh, this means 1200 uh, free one ROM, and the next step is uh, drivers. Yes, you could uh, use it uh, in the uh, after installation, first installation. At least you need to install. Uh, disk uh, from the free one, but you don't put it in, in the hard drive, it's just here to, to copy one library the, later. CD-ROM, you don't need it. The coffin uh, is okay, so you select it from your hard drives. Coffin image like this one is already selected. Then the, the, the ROM, you should have the ROMs. Uh, if you use the emulation, probably you have some ROMs. Uh, so the free one for 1200, of course, cheap is two megabytes. Uh, fast uh, memory is one to eight megabytes. Uh, graphic card uh, 64. And the next here doesn't matter for now. Uh, and uh, the next is graphic cards is zero free. And of course, we would like to use internet, so we must uh, select the or enable the BSD uh, socket library. Then here, uh, this is important in uh, FECUIE. Uh, uh, yes, and uh, at, at least uh, for for vam, let's say emulation of Vampire, because Vampire processor is seen by the system like uh, a 040 uh, Motorola. But uh, you must select no MMU uh, with JIT, uh, it is fast. The uh, floppy disk drive, I set it to turbo, and that's all. Now you just uh, hit the start. Uh, you can save your configuration here and hit the start. Um, and uh, it should uh, run the coffin. And you will see this is the coffin OS, the configuration. Um, we can even make a full screen. Uh, the configuration of uh, of keyboard uh, for us, let's say, for now doesn't matter. So we we can accept what we have here. Network we don't want to uh, use the wizard because we emulate the let's say emulate the the network. So no uh, workbench uh, and caser. Uh, the Alpha OS is really. Cool, but let's uh, select the uh, recommended uh, Visual Prefs version. Just easy like that. And then uh, what we need to change is preferences and the screen mode, of course, because this is not acceptable on depending what you have uh, in your system and what would you like to use. You can select, for example, uh, I use, uh, for example, this one. Let's test it. Okay, it's it is okay. You can use something different, but let's start with this and it's tested safe. So, 
and uh, it will be good to to make uh, a restart And basically, Coffin OS is almost uh, uh, fully working, but uh, it can be different uh, problems, like for example, um, because um, when you go to tools and no, sorry, not programs, when you go to uh, tools and uh, show config, you will see your uh, processor is MMU, but you don't see FPU here somehow, and uh, you cannot see this. Um, because this is uh, created for for vampire so in lips you have the uh, disabled version so what we need this we need the uh, workbench uh, install disk uh, left right window and then from the lips you copy this because if you don't do it for example, and would you like to, uh, let's say, uh, open the picture? You cannot open it because the Mystic View, which is used, is, is FPU version, and uh, the same is, for example, for Lightwave. And there's a lot of stuff here installed. So uh, just copy the library and that just, let's say, rename this library like that. And uh, okay, and remove the disk. Uh, okay, remove the disk, then restart the Amiga. Virtual Amiga, of course. Uh, we are back, and uh, what? Uh, and now, when we check it, for example, pictures. Tara is working. The another uh, tricky things, uh, I'll show it to you. Uh, the Vidi, uh, you cannot uh, play the MPG files because you don't have the uh, Apollo CPU, but you can use the iPros, go to uh, Aminet and uh, download the Riva. Somewhere we should find with a zero point fifty four. So let's hit this, uh, and it will be downloaded to uh, a temp. Uh, so programs, uh, temps, and river, and you can uh, un un uh, unarchive this to RAM. And basically, we need the because I think it would be faster and easier when you go to RAM you see that and uh, when you go to your workbench and disk and then uh, utilities then you see the river this river you can rename uh, or delayed because you cannot run it and you don't need it and you copy this version for normal CPUs. You copy this is like was before. Oh, in infra monitor, sorry. Okay. That's that's done. And now I don't I don't know if we need to restore, but I think no. And now it's working. Uh, I will not play the music videos because the YouTube cannot uh, yeah will now allow this to do something but basically it is a uh, it's done uh, the this was this was really easy uh, oh, maybe one more thing if you would like to play the um, run the macro as uh, just like that you cannot it's as well pre-configured but you can do uh, the if I could remember, um, and this is really, and now uh, it will be restarted. It's running at 
and you should choose some something like let's say the resolution like like that for example for now the refresh I think it will be better like that and start so uh, the uh, Apple OS or the Coffin OS is really nice it's really pre-configured you can uh, see you can run some games some programs as well for Mac OS and uh, of course uh, there are the, there is uh, one problem with the uh, with the uh, pre-configured uh, uh, games uh, WHD load uh, it will not run in this uh, state it probably crash yes it will be always like that but there is uh, one thing to, uh, to change and it, uh, okay, this was this was uh, okay so let's go here we don't need it anymore And there are uh, uh, this you need to edit. Mm, this you don't need. Basically, you can rename this, and it should work. To be sure, let's uh, restart. And let's put something. Okay, let's do this. Red, which um, So basically, this uh, you can run a uh, scam as well uh, if you like. So uh, and you can explore a lot of things here. It's completely pre-configured system, even with uh, some nice stuff for, of course, for vampire, not for emulation. But uh, basically, you can use it as a as pre-configured good, uh, pre-configured stable system for your uh, emulation environment. Thank you very much.